update. So we are heading out from Las Vegas to go up to Northern California in Russian River, which is kind of the Napa Valley area, and we have no reservations. So what we are going to do is we are going to, what I call, harvest host it all the way up to, from Southern California up to Northern California to Russian River. So we're excited to do that. We kind of did some research on the site and there were definitely some spots that would work. We made some phone calls to those to make sure they'd be okay. And we have the next three nights set up. And then after that, we got to figure it out for another night before we make our way up there. So we're traveling about two and a half, three hours a day to get from the Las Vegas area up to Northern California. So come along and check out what it's like to harvest host our way up there. Our first stop is Peggy Sue's 50s Diner. How cool is that? A lot of times you think it's just wineries on there, but there's farms, there's diners, now there's golf courses. So our first stop is Peggy Sue's Diner. So we are going to stop here for the night, get up tomorrow morning, have some breakfast. She's got a lot of really good reviews, so check out how that is. And then we actually have to fix a screw in our tire. So we're gonna go into town and do that. Then after that, we are gonna head on out to a golf course, which will be our first golf course day with Harvest Host. So we are excited to check that out. But here is Peggy Sue's 50s Diner. Here comes Knox, walking Indy. All right, there's the diner over there. You see the sign, Peggy Sue's Diner. There it is. And then you'll see we got all this space over here. And then here is our rig. So there we are right there. And Megan and Jake, my sister and brother-in-law right there. So plenty of room here. We got the highway right there. You can hear that, but no big deal. We got some trucks stopping in. And there it is. Peggy Sue's Diner! Sweet! We got up right in early and now we're heading to Peggy Sue's Diner for breakfast. Sweet! <laughs> Alright, here we go. We are heading into Peggy Sue's for some breakfast. Nice, so we get to just roll right out of the rig and walk right over. Their food, the kids' pancakes were Mickey Mouse, right? <laughs> cool. How were your guys's? Delicious. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, I liked it. Good. Everything. And then they had that fun little area in the back. Now we're gonna go out to our rig and we are gonna hit the road, make a stop to fix our tire, and then head on to the golf course, which is part of the Harvest Hills program. So let's do this. Our next stop on our Harvest Host tour here is a golf course. So we are at a golf course in Bakersfield. And yeah, we just get a park right here in the lot. You can see the cars behind us there. So you get a park right here in the lot and right on the other side there is the driving range and the golf course is out that way. So Craig's actually gonna settle in here and then he's gonna hit the links. Play about nine holes, got a good twilight deal going on. So he's gonna head out there and do that once we're all situated. Good deal, sweet. Cool, oh, different. Walk right out and go hit a bucket of balls tomorrow morning if I wanted to. Not a bad deal. You're gonna head out and play, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go try to. I got the okay <laughs> from my wife. <laughs> he's enjoying a snack when he's got the golfers right out his window there. Nice, huh? Cool. During the night out by the golf range, kids got all this green grass space to play. 
Perfect, and there's the rig right there, cooking pizza inside. Indy, what do you think? <laughs> the setup here at the golf course has been awesome. Like last night, Craig said I could get used to this and hot in the lawn chair, the music on, drinking a beer, watching people hit balls. Not too shabby. So yeah, and the other thing we've noticed about coming to these Harvest Host places is that the people here are so nice and accommodating. They're like, oh yeah, just go there or go here. You know, they're very inviting. They don't make us feel like we shouldn't be here um, or anything, which is super nice that when you get here, you feel like it's all good. It's all good that we're here. And the kids have been loving having this backyard like this. So you'll see over here that they are just loving the grass. They're there, where are they? There they are back there, playing in the grass, just loving this whole big open grass space, having tons of fun here, and fun last night hitting balls. So definitely think the golf courses are on our radar to hit those up a little bit more as we travel here up the coast of California, Oregon, and Washington. So next we head out to a winery, which is what Harvest Host was originally known for. So we are gonna go out to a winery. It's actually kind of a winery slash farm. They have some live music tonight. They said, come on in, park. We got 20 acres, kids can run wild. Super excited to go there, check out the winery, see what this is all about. And yeah, this having Harvest Host to get us up, the, up California here into Northern California has been great. We are at our next spot, the winery. And how cool is this? They have water and electric here. Go figure. So we are gonna ride around now to our spot and get settled in. Sweet. All right, we just went in and did the wine sampling inside and that was pretty cool. So now we are out here having dinner. The kids are off exploring somewhere, but we're just sitting out here having dinner. So there are the rigs back there all this stuff out and after we're done eating we're gonna head over for the live music pretty sweet being out from our v spot to go over to where they have the live music at the winery they all wanted to stay and wave at me but <laughs> so we're gonna walk straight from where our rig is parked right over here to the winery where they have live music. Look at that. How nice is that? We get to walk over there. We don't have to worry about driving after we have some more wine. It's perfect. Okay, so the winery we are at is called the Vista Ranch and Cellars. Definitely check it out. Okay, so we just finished up our time at the winery. That was pretty cool. They had the lights out, they had the music going, had a lot of fun. So now all we have to do is just walk back to our rig. What do you think? <laughs> pretty sweet. All right, nice and easy. We can just walk right back to the rig. Good night. So that is a wrap on our Harvest Host tour up through the Valley of California. And our last stop was the Vista Ranch and Cellars, which was awesome because they had the live music last night. They had hookups, water and electric, what? So that was amazing. And we were just talking about how cool this property was. So Harvest Host came through three amazing nights at three totally different places, but was so cool. And we are so excited to continue to include Harvest Host in our stays as we continue on the road. Sweet.